Look at that style. Superstar Billy Graham is showing out. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Paradise Valley, Arizona, weighing in at 275 pounds. Superstar. Pontificating, outrageous, charismatic. Superstar Billy Graham is a true pioneer of sports entertainment. You're right, Cole. This is a man who deserves an entire wing of the WWE Hall of Fame. With a real superstar in the building, we are about to see something special. Many Hall of Famers pattern themselves after Graham, and we are all about to see exactly why. snakes in the Hall of Fame, Cole. I'm looking at the toughest SOB in WWE history. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Talking trash all the way to the ring. And obviously can back it up. Well, Rattlesnake's itching for a fight, and he's about to have one. Superstar Billy Graham is quite the rap on the microphone and the physique of a great god, but this is where Graham makes his money. Superstar's goal is to overpower his adversaries to the point where they can't fight back because they can't get up. Graham studies his opponents with intense concentration and knows exactly what parts of the body he wants to attack. And waiting to strike across the ring is the Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin. What makes Stone Cold such a dangerous opponent is his ability to strike out without any warning, shifting the odds in his favor. On top of that, Corey, Stone Cold's resiliency only adds to the element of danger. You might get him down, but keep it up. Sleeper holds sit in the roof, sit up there. But will he be able to last much longer? Graham laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Devastating elbow. Jumping elbow drop. He's absorbed some damage already. <laughs> Billy Graham showing how he can be an aggressor. There he goes, right into the corner. Bulldog! And will this be it? Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Playing possum! Whoa, playing possum! Wasting no time shoulder up. He is still very much in this. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Stomping. Ouch. Graham dodges that attack. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Great strength being shown here. And that was a well-executed attack. Jumping elbow drop. Down to Bonus and a double axe handle smash. Big hammer connects. And Austin a little bit off his game after that hit. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Nice side headlock applied. Oh. What a good punch. measure. Can he score the pin? Oh, maybe. An easy kick out there. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Austin just stomping away. And repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. Not the position you want to be in right now. 
to walk it dry. Ooh, sharp elbow. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Ooh. Graham laying down the gauntlet for his opponent. Showing. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. There is no way in hell Stone Cold Steve Austin's going to tap out. I'm not sure. Whoa, whoa, look at that. And somehow he's able to work his way out of the hold. There's press and the piston-like right hands. There's press for the win. Kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Assault as Billy Graham breathing heavy in the late going. It is looking grim. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Back and forth. Neither one giving up any ground. Neither competitor is backing down. Big boot to the gut and a thunderous. Superstar Billy Graham cinching in the bear. And gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. Set squarely on Billy Graham here. Austin Stone Cold Stunner. This could put a stop to Billy Graham. Oh, he was almost finished. Oh, that was more than close. That was inches away from three millimeters. And you've got to wonder if desperation starts to kick in for Stone Cold or if he stays the course. So well matched. These men aren't giving up any ground. Showing their strength of will, their refusal to back down. Such punishment being dealt by Austin. Graham's defenses are being... Austin! Austin! And that's what you want to see. Good sportsmanship after a competitive... What? The... Seriously? Seriously. What a shame. Let's start off this match in a civilized manner, guys. Oh, handshake, uh, good sportsmanship. 
I guess I'll... Whoa! Oh, 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 was fine. that you said about civility, Cole? I saw humiliation and disrespect, and I love it. But well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. Yeah, it's clear there's a total lack of respect between these two. There's the bell to this highly anticipated match. So anticipated, these combatants couldn't even wait for the bell. I just cannot believe the referee is actually allowing this match to continue. Oh, Byron, these superstars are all adults, and the referee isn't there to play count. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. He better think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Close fist connects. And full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Drop kick. Uh-oh. This is just vicious. No, no. no, no, no. That'll break his arm. Vicious. And JD gets that turn back on him. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Big Luke Gowles has been such an effective heavy hitter over the years. Safe to say that power should be front of mind for him tonight. The power's a given. What Gallows needs to use is his speed. He's got a surprising motor for a big man. If he uses it wisely, he can up the pace and turn the tide of a match. Slam. Looked like JD's focus got rattled there. And Gallows just unleashed that brawling offense there. Oh my goodness! Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. That was one big behemoth flying down with authority and force. And a standing moonsault. That extra rotation creates so much more force. Uh-oh. And the camel. Camel clutch. Great way to break it. And he gets sent back into the ring. Japanese arm drag. DDT! Into the pin attempt. Only a one count before the kick out. Not getting a two at this point has got to say something. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Big loop, Gallows. Will Gallows end it here? Oh, he got him on a win! Here is your winner, Luke Gallows! And after the earlier show of disrespect endured, it must be reassuring to have this win under their belt. Who knows? Maybe this win will grant them the respect that was clearly denied of them earlier. Hopefully that's not still weighing on their mind. They just won. That's all that matters in the long run.
The gods have spoken. And only she knows what they have to say. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. Representing the Viking Raiders. Valhalla! Valhalla considers herself the ultimate hunter. And the women's division is her prey. Stalks her prey and strikes with ferocity. Every win is a trophy kill for her. Such a look of grim determination. Says she receives messages from the gods. And I doubt they're telling her to play nice. You're right, Byron. I think they're telling her to conquer. Meechin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. And representing the O.C. from Fontana, California, Meechin! Meechin looking to throw down like the baddie she is. Yeah, Meechin has competed all over the world. You simply cannot discount her success thus far. Meechin ready to prove she belongs at the top of this division. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. Intimidation is in the air as the Viking warrior Valhalla prepares for action. Just one look into Valhalla's eyes and you have to realize there's no telling what she's going to do. Well, she looks like she just walked straight from a Viking battlefield to even be here tonight. So you can at least wager a guess as to what she plans to do, Cole? I just know I wouldn't want to be the one in her way right now. But Meechin is one of the most versatile competitors in WWE today. And she is always ready to throw down. A bad attitude and always... And here's a cover! Whoa. Stops the ref count before two. Still in it. Oh, strong impact! Drops the hammer right on the lower back. She turns it right around with a counter. From behind, into the German. She turns it around on Meechin. Sent into the corner. The hollow lives for the hunt now. Sees her opponents as prey. Yeah, but hopefully she knows better than to play with her food. The slow, methodical style makes a lot of sense, but Valhalla has a way of waiting too long to pounce. And then she ends up with nothing to show for her efforts. <laughs> Right across the knee. He don't want locked in. This is painful. Just extending parts that don't extend. Bahala isn't being given any room to recover. Meechin is executing everything she wants. makes this a critical moment in the match. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Mm. Oh, an incredible sit-up mat slam. Yes. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Can she do it here? And she's not done yet. Close call, but not enough yet. 
That'll scramble your brains. Both knees into the face. So to the stomach. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. <laughs> and Meechin reverses it. She's pushed into the corner. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh, foot just stomping down. Things not going how she'd like. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Is it enough here? And they kick out at two. Not yet. Arm ringer. Whoa. How about a punch? Meechin dodges out in time. She returns the favor there. Double underhook suplex. Lighthouse kick. Springboard misses the target. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Uh-oh. An agile escape. And I'm going to check on a... Oh, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... Not what this is uncalled for! Now, what does this prove? All oh, right, I love this guy. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. The WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. Big time match on tap. When the competition level is this high, you can bet it will be memorable.
The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. One of the hardest hitting high flyers around. Ready for takeoff. And his opponent, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. And the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Now, I'm not going to lie, I had written this competitor off from pretty much jump. But their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. Well, we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. And all hail the emperor of Lucha Libre. Escobar can soar with the eagle. Both men now on the apron. This is a scary situation. Oh. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. There it is. Boom. Nice. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. He saw it coming, taking advantage. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Kicks to the face, capped off with a big one. Just going all out with every blow. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Northern Lights, and into the count. Fending off a two count there. This isn't even close to over. That's using your head. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and oh, stop right to the hand. And Escobar can't create any new tradition if he's taking hits like that. Lets him up the spine buster. Cover! He's able to kick out before two. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting. No way! Oh. Suicide dive! Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. You know, I'm noticing. Oh, this is turning into a real Donnybrook here. Fists are flying back and forth, and down he goes. This superstar's rocked, and this superstar apparently has decided he's had enough of this. Now yeah, walking away. Discretion's the better part of valor. But how about calling it a retreating? Whoa! Oh, no the retreat hell? for What's you. What's he doing here? This just went from bad to worse. Corey, why did that superstar just throw them back in the ring? Your guess is as good as mine, but right now it's time to plant your feet and throw hands. That's going to fire you up with anger. Escobar. Phantom Rider! Exclamation delivered by Escobar. Oh, he kicked out. Where in the world is he getting this from? His beating heart will not be stopped. 
When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Power slam. That's gotta be it. Two count forces the shoulder up after two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Stop in the leg. Running elbow drop right to the heart. Oh, able to counter. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Savage knee to the face. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Right to the knee. Um, hammering away. And Escobar didn't see that coming. A oh, club with the right forearm. Oh, that's just insulting. Blocked it. The knees up could provide a huge turnaround. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock up. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Delivery nasty stops. The stomp in every single part of his body. Off the ropes. Delivers a blow to the gut. Compromised position here. Oh, God, face first. Grabs their opponent by the ankles. Oh, you power bomb. That might be it. Two. He kicks out at two. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Double arm lock. Wow. He's going for it all. Look out. Escobar able to dodge that. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. A fireman's kick. Corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. That's it, Santos just ended things. And the victory! Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. If this win doesn't earn them respect, I don't know what will. And you know what? You have to respect this win. They don't have to do anything, Saxton. Yes, but if their point was that they couldn't even lace their boots, I think we just saw how wrong that is tonight.
Mrs. Wrestling has returned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated female superstars in the world. Surprising ability in such a small package. Candice is all smiles until the bell rings. Hey, a big opportunity for Candice here. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm! If you listened to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. She's been training for this match for quite a while, and she plans on making a statement here tonight. Candice LeRae, one of the most decorated female superstars in WWE, misses wrestling herself. A competitor in the same vein as her indie wrestling brethren, Candice LeRae is driven by passion and will do anything it takes to win. We'll see if all that passion will pay dividends now. Yeah, but she's got to face off against one of the most destructive competitors we've ever seen in the women's division. On an absolute warpath since she came to WWE, she is unlike anything we've seen before. Into an overhead suplex. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? She steers clear of that one. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyperextend your leg. Corey, Mrs. Wrestling is a nickname Candace can live up to. How does one strategize against her? Well, you got to forget about the overhyped nickname. You can't out wrestle Candace. You just have to believe it to be true first. Watch out, German suplex. Nine, two, three, four. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Oh, quite an effective counter. Nice drop kick. Jumping stop to the gut. <laughs> Candace gets that set right back to her. This match is coming down to the last second. Someone's got to get back to the ring now. <laughs> well, the last second beat the count out. And she dodged that one nicely. Breaker. This could be it. Cover. Raising the arm before one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Counter by Candice. And both athletes showing the... Beautiful takedown into the kill. Rolling, scratching, doing whatever it takes. She will not let this match end. 
trying to chop her down with a low kick. This is quickly turning into a... These two trading one more going head to head. Pick back and forth we go. Who will break first? That is the question. Waiting for their fallen up. Uh oh. Quick thinking pays off. Kick to the gut. Double under hook. Tiger bomb. Is it enough? There's two. And the victory here tonight. Here is your winner, Tony Storm. Candice LeRae facing defeat here tonight. How Candace handles things moving forward is going to make all the difference in the world. This loss could eat at her, or she could decide not to let it beat her. The WWE Universe is on their feet. Showing respect for the game. The Cerebral Assassin. Few men have ever commanded attention like Triple H. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the authority from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the game, Triple H. As always, Triple H is marching to the ring with purpose. And as always, the purpose remains the same. Plain and simple, domination. Triple H has remained atop the WWE for two decades and shows no signs of slowing down yet. Now the intimidation and mind games have already begun for Triple H. Because the moment the music hits, Triple H begins to defend his kingdom. Well, that's because Triple H looks at every competitor as a threat to his crown. We are about to see a battle here tonight. A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era. A man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge. Whoa! 
Here's what you're dealing with when you're facing Triple H. Not only can the game punish you with mental power, but physical power as well. And that's going to be a lot for him to contend with. Triple H calls himself the game for a reason, and that's because he sees the entire board. Nobody knows the ins and outs of a ring and the boardroom better than him. This is a man who maneuvered his way to the top in the office and who bludgeoned his way to the top in the ring. He didn't just earn his status as an icon, he took it from everybody else. And perhaps the next thing Triple H will take is another victory here tonight. But he needs to watch his back around JBL who is as crafty as he is hard-hitting. Thank you for not letting your biases get in the way, Saxton. When you're in the ring with JBL, he can take you down with both his brawn and his brilliance. And just know, he's gonna have one hell of a time doing it. And now, after that, look at the story painted red on Triple. Can he score the pin? Capitalize. Now, his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Targeting the leg. Uh oh. This is not going to be good. This could be it. This is agonizing. The death lock is in. Uh oh. Out thinking the cerebral assassin. <laughs> Veteran instincts from Triple H. Oh, oh yeah. In control here with a swinging neck breaker. Textbook. Now he's been put up. Sleeper hold cinched in. And breaks out of the sleeper. Triple H is, of course, known as the Cerebral Assassin. Is it wise to try to outwit a competitor like him? The competition shouldn't so much. Shoulders down. Powers through after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Able to get the advantage here. Gets out of there in a hurry. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Sequence of reversals there. Boom. Elbow drop. Piercing.
Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Cena kickstarted the ruthless aggression era and has defined WWE ever since. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, John Cena! He has won Royal Rumbles, Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. As fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness. Look who's here. The Phenom has arrived. And demise awaits anyone who stands across the ring from the dead man. The Reaper walks among us. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, the WWE Champion, the You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to, to win. A competitor who has survived the toughest battles WWE has ever witnessed. Surreal moment here tonight. An awe-inspiring, truly frightening sight. The Undertaker's opponent better get ready. He's about to meet his maker. mistakes of John Cena's life was making incendiary comments about The Undertaker because the dead man will always remember those words. Words, I might add, that were said by Cena without provocation. Some people hold John Cena responsible for bringing back the dead man. They say Undertaker was in isolation in the darkest corner of Death Valley. Tonight, Cena must be prepared to defend himself against an unspeakable fury. A fury so powerful, his survival is in question. 
That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. And he's able to counter. Great job refocusing to reverse that. He catches Cena with a counter. Mitchell Driver! Uh-oh. Ooh, and a reversal. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Cena warning him off. What a drop kick. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Facing the Undertaker about as daunting a task as there is in WWE. How do you put yourself in a position to succeed? When you're facing The Undertaker, you're essentially facing two opponents, the legend and the man. The legend can't be beaten, but the man is an athlete like anybody else. He's big, he's fast, but if you take the fight to him, you might earn a victory, or maybe even his respect. Fought off with an elbow. Ooh, clothesline delivered. Whoa-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Bad predicament right here. Get it tossed. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock him. And will this be it? Just gets the shoulder up. Close call. That was almost lights out. Scouted. Ouch. Up and with a protoplex. Just like that, Cena gets intercepted. Undertaker DD team. He's still. Cena ducks underneath. Couple of shoulder tackles now. Cena, the powerhouse. To finish things up with a slam. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Five knuckles shot. He may get the three count right here. I think so. And Undertaker barely escapes the pen. How? Just ate that kick to the face. Caught him with a big boot. On the mark. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Boom! What a right. Big blow. Could be felt throughout the arena. How's that for a counter? See ya. Uh-oh. Undertaker cuts him off. The time has arrived to rest in peace. Tombstone pile driver! That could end Cena right now. The cover! No, he gets the shoulder up. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Cena stays off the attack. Undertaker drops the hammer right on the lower back. All the way down. He's in a bad way, guys. Yeah, not looking good at all. If anyone can make a big comeback, you know it's John Cena. Trapped in the corner. No escape from these punches. One way to get your opponent out of the corner. Oh, stomping away. Elbow drop. Piercing. Yeah. 
Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Placing them into the corner. Oh, that was inventive. And Cena now is dominating. Bringing the fight to The Undertaker. Showing the world that the Phenom is indeed just a man and he may be on the path to victory tonight. Crank in the head. Oh, he knew what was coming. And that can be a first step towards The Undertaker gaining control. Undertaker could be turning his fortunes around. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Taker has him up. Here we go. Top power driver. The Undertaker just ended this. Two. And picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner. The This was a grueling fight, but in the end, The Undertaker reigns victorious over John Cena. Cena took his very best shot, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, both of these men are in contention for the greatest of all time, but The Undertaker has proven that he truly stands alone atop this industry. Mr. Two Titles has arrived. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Preston, England, weighing in at 246 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion and the World Wide Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Wade Bay. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. Austin's fury might drop him in a hurry. And he weathered the early storm against Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake. And his opponent from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! I got a premonition we're about to see some mud holes stomped and walk dry before our very eyes. A man who just oozes attitude and does whatever he wants. <laughs> Corey, remember when Stone Cold stunned Byron? Oh my God, yes. How could I forget? Hey, at least I got a free adult beverage out of it. I thought you didn't drink, Byron. Well, only with Stone Cold. And this 
match getting started with, well, to put it in politely, one of the meanest SOBs to ever lace up a pair of boots, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't know about impolite. Frankly, I'm not sure he takes issue with that. Austin's meanness and nastiness define him as a superstar. His style is simple, but it's about as effective as it gets. We'll see if it continues to be effective in this battle. Then there's a superstar like Wade Barrett, who's all about that smash mouth, in your face offense. Barrett's proven himself to be a man of many words over the years, but in the ring, he always lets his fists do the talking. And as it turns out, Saxton, Barrett's fists are just as eloquent as he is. Unfortunately for his opponents, that eloquence tends to be maybe not, maybe not! And the referee stops the count before two. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Big double axe handle. Austin in a state of distress now. Yeah, Barrett is proving hard to keep up with. Knew what was coming there. I think it's safe to say, at least from a distance, that Austin can be a bit of a hothead. He can let his emotions get the better of him, and when they do, it doesn't matter how good he is, that's what can cost him matches. So when you get in the ring with the Texas Rattlesnake, you've got to know how to set him off and how to use that to your advantage. From the top! Oh, misses the mark! Ooh. Kick lands. Wade Barrett looked like he was knocked off his game there. And Stone Cold looks like he is dead set on dishing out some more humiliation. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Shot to the gut will break things up. Lariat! Off into the pin. Not even close to down and out at this point. Getting him into the corner. And Austin gets stopped in his tracks. Arm ringer. Bang! What a punch. Slice bread, but a counter power slam. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Ah, oh, kicks right to the midsection. Opponent dropped in the corner. Stomping a mud hole in the opposition. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Big forearm. Wow, what impact! Producing a trampling. He avoids the damage. Big boot. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Being carried around with ease. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. And a series of vicious stomps. Each of his boots seem to get heavier with each blow. He turns it around. Oh, an overhand punch. Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Could be seconds away from seeing Barrett fall. Austin. Stop cold. Stop cold. Stop cold. Stop. Shoulders down. of mind. I thought he was unconscious. Austin has put away some perched up top. Nobody hold on that. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Into the pay window. No! Two count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Dodged right on cue. And Austin fends him off. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. You have to respect these men for taking it to the next level. This one's becoming too close to call. Yeah, it's hard to predict how this one will end. Ugh. Boom! Hit the button. Inside. Oh, 
fast press and then and dropping bomb. It could be over here. This is it. It's over. It is over. Here is your winner. The bitter taste of defeat for Wade Barrett. Stone Cold with his fists in the air. Let's give him a heck yeah! This is one of the most complete competitors in the history of sports entertainment. A.J. Styles. One of the most influential competitors of this generation. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first... Representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is in a class by himself, continually adding to his accolades with every single match. A Grand Slam champion in WWE night after night lives up to the moniker of Phenomenal. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's gonna turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And his partner from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke. Shin is as expressive as he is dangerous. Here's what I love about Shinsuke Nakamura. He's got his own style, and he's always going with his own flow. Nakamura is brash and fearless inside the ring. And looks damn cool doing it. Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be.
Creatures of the night, rejoice. The dead man has returned. The aura of the Undertaker is one that always intimidates. And from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, the Undertaker! You are looking at dominance without equal. Power from another dimension. One of the most prolific strikers in WWE history. A man who knows absolutely no fear. And the thing about The Undertaker is the attitude. The fact that he knows he's an incredible warrior, that he will do anything and everything he needs to, to win. A competitor who has survived the toughest battles WWE has ever witnessed. Three decades of dominance. The dead man's wrath is unending. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. The self-proclaimed hot daddy of WWE. And from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 190 pounds, Post Malone! Post Malone can blend music styles as well as fighting and definitely a master on the microphone. Well, Post needs to defy his hilariously low overall rating and have the performance of his career. Covered in ink, but ready to tattoo the opposition tonight. Look, I respect Post Malone's desire and passion, but it's going to be tough for old Posty to leave here with the W. Covered in ink, but ready to tattoo the opposition tonight. Look, I respect Post Malone's desire and passion, but it's going to be tough for old Posty to leave here with the W. And this is sure to be a hard-hitting tag team battle. We're all set to go with AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. And they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with Undertaker and Post Malone. It is going to be all about teamwork and partnership here tonight. Who will be the better team? Who will have the better chemistry? I personally cannot wait to find out. Oh, DDT. Bang! Tags him in. Takedown, looking for the cross face, gets cinched in this car. Looking to free the arm and does just that. Oh. Suplex, here it comes. Nicely done. Paul Malone gets cut off. Phenomenal blitz. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, putting focus on the arm here. And Malone gave an opening, and it was capitalized on. AJ used that veteran offense there, something he's built up over his career. Firm control. Kick 
kick right to the face. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Oh, and he goes for the pin. Then he gets the shoulder up before two. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Getting set up for something in the corner. Close quarters, wicked knee. Oh, showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. With the lariat. Grabbing a hold of the arm. That kind of force of the arm can have lingering effects. Close the line. Boom, what a right coach. And the king of strong style himself took a hard and impactful hit there. Taker showing that ability to adapt to any opponent. Ooh. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Nail it by Nakamura. Look out. Into the axe kick. Oof. Oh, what a boot. Big elbow. And he sends him into the corner. Display. Can't quite get him there. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Oh. Simple but effective. In the cover. And a kick out at two. And frustration might be starting to set in. And Malone able to reverse that. Oh. Suplex. Here it comes. Nicely done. Goes into the pin. Kick out at one. Keeping the loss at bay for now. What a counter. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. Kicks directly to the chest. You can feel the resentment building with each stop there. And tag. He did it. Let's go. DDT spiked. <laughs> Neck breaker. No other plans instead. A neck breaker of their own. He's looking a little weary now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. He thinks he has it. And he kicks out of the pen in one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Brought down and just uh, twisting the... Oh, twisting the neck. Perfect. Here's a cover. Could be it. Maybe not. Into the corner now. Uh oh. There's return fire on AJ. Kicks directly to the chest. And a series of vicious stomps. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And he's able to reverse. Got the tag. Got the tag. Oh, the close line. Oh, for a power slam, steps down. Counter into an inverted DDT. Just 
rubbing salt in the wound now. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and in the chest as well. Tag. Reversal by The Undertaker. Able to interrupt the attack. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Timely reversal on Undertaker. We are seeing these men leaving it all on the line. No stone being left unturned. Everything the body can give is being brought to the table. Pinching in a waist lock, but right hands from the opposition. Power bomb position. Fighting out. Hammer away, but punches to the face. Oh, that's going to hurt. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, an inverted DDT connects. for wear in the corner now. Axe handle. Great awareness by the dead man. It's absolute pandemonium in here. And it's all because of the willpower these superstars are showing. Deathlock is in. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. This is how you punish your opponent. Talking trash. Forearms to the face. The audacity. With the knee to the face. Oh! And it's over. Big tag team win there. Here are your winners. The team of The Undertaker and Post Malone. And they were not able to beat the ref's count. This one ends in a count out. When it comes down to the record books, a win is a win no matter the conditions. They should still be proud.